Hi friends, we are at the last stage of our life cycle here. So just to review where we left off, we have our life cycle stages. We had the larva, the pupa, and now we are to the last one. So let's go ahead and let's look at what we have here before we write the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and put today's date on here too. It's been a while since we've had science. It says, the beetle is the adult stage of the mealworm. It is known as, the, as a darkling built beetle. All right, so let's come back over here to our notes. So we have the beetle. And we can try to draw, and then our picture is right here before we watch our movie. So it's a longer body, obviously a shell. It's black. And then it's got its legs. And then it has the antenna right here. So obvious. And then it lays eggs and it becomes the larva again. So that's how we have ours. And then the beetle that we've actually been watching is called a darkling beetle. And actually here in North Carolina, you might see these darkling beetles out in your yard. All right, so we've got the larva, the pupa, and the beetle. Now, when it was cold, did we see any of those beetles? We did not. And maybe if we warmed them back up, because it looked like they were still alive, so maybe if we warmed it back up, we'd start seeing the life cycle move faster. Now, we've been talking about the structures and behaviors, and what do we notice is different about the structure of the beetle? So the structure of the beetle, right here, let's make some notes. We notice in our picture, first of all, it's a black, hard shell. That's, some, that's a new structure. It definitely has legs. Now, if we think back, it had legs when it was a larva, and it looked like it had legs of a pupa all folded up, but they really didn't do any walking. This had the hard, hard cover, but it was white. So now we still have the hard cover, but now it's black. So there's different, the structures are changing. And then these antennae that were up here, those, we had tiny ones here. We didn't really notice anything here, but we definitely have some on here. So when we go to observe, we're going to be watching what what do all these structures do and what do we think they do for the darkling beetle. Okay, so why do you think the mealworms in the colder environment did not change into adults? And we've, we've talked about this before. It's because the temperature chain, it needs to be a little bit warmer for these beetles to um, go through their life cycle. What do you think would happen if the containers from the cold environment are brought into the room temperature? And we just talked about two, that too. I think they'd start their life cycle again. They'd continue it. I think the cold slows it down. All right, so here's a picture of each of the stages. So we've got the larva. It's a light brown. We've got the pupa. And then this is new. So this is the beetle right out of the pupa. If you notice, it's not black yet. The head is starting to, you can see the legs, definitely. But as soon as it comes out of the pupa, it does not, it has, it's still a beetle, but it's like a mini adult, maybe a teenager. And then it will go, when it's a full grown adult, it will be all black. So there's like this mini stage right here. All right, so we, we did not see any eggs. But here's the larva. The larva, after it's molted a few times, it got a little bigger. Then we have our pupa, where everything's hard and white, and then we have our darkling beetle. And here's a little bit easier to see the structures. If you notice, it looks like there's two shells right here, the middle part of our body. We've got our head and the antenna, and then it looks like we have the six legs. And if we look back here, we've always had six legs, and that's not something that I've noticed because we haven't been able to, like, zoom in on our... Um, zoom in in, our, uh, in each stage like if we were in the classroom. But we want to make sure that we, we notice that the number of legs does not change. 
Okay, so we've drawn our beetle, and it says, look closely at the size and shape of the antennae on the beetle's head. Label your drawings. So let's go ahead and pause right here. All right, we're going to come back, and we're going to draw our beetle a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to, let's go ahead and pull it up to our other page. I think we have a better, this one, we have a better picture of it. So we're going to draw our beetle. Don't worry about how perfect it is. Looks like a little pointing. I see a little bit. I didn't notice that these have lines on here. And then we have the head. And our end. And Ms. Corbin is not the best drawer, so it's okay. Looks like they have a couple feet that come up forward. And then the four come back. And this is really what I want you to pay attention to right now. We have that antenna. The antenna. Now, with the antenna, this is one of our sensory, it's called sensory receptors. So this structure, so it's a structure, it's a body part. And it's called a sensory receptor. Oh, sorry. Sensory receptor. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, what do you think that means? What do we think the sensory receptor means? Well, I know sensor, I hear... Like, I hear sense. So when I think of my senses, I think of my hearing, my smelling, my seeing, all of those things that are my senses. So like we use our eyes to see, our nose to smell, our mouth to taste, our hands to feel. But the beetle doesn't have all those structures. So the structure of the beetle to help do all those things are its antenna. So that's what helps me figure out what a antenna, what a sensory receptor means. Now, they use it. And this was kind of a wow. They use it to smell. That is not the structure we use to smell. So the part of the body that they use to smell is the antennae. They can also use it to feel around, like to feel the surface of the environment, to feel around. But its primary one is to use sense of smell and that's something that I learned now we have one more thing that I would like us to do today I want us to observe it so let's take a look at it on your paper I want you to write down any behaviors so on your paper right next to your beetle I want you to write down behaviors what are some of the behaviors that you see in the video? I don't want behaviors that you've seen outside of the video. I want you to only put the behaviors that you notice in our video. Notice this is a video when it's just came out of the pupa. You can see the pupa, the, the empty shell is there. What is it trying to do? Looks like the same thing the larva was doing, huh? Trying to get out. So it's using his legs to walk, I see. I'm trying to see if his antenna are moving. I see his antenna moving up and down. Look how the shape of the legs are a little different than the larva, though. So some of the behaviors that you might write down are walking. I see him. 
antenna moving. It looks like he's trying to, he went straight for the wall, right? I'm wondering if he's trying to get out or find food. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's still the white stage. Not quite dark yet. And there's the pupa. That's just the old skin, kind of like when it was molting. It crawled out of it. All right. Here's our another one. Ah, uh, it's darker. It's moving faster, isn't it? So when it's darker and older, it moves faster. So darker, older, moves faster. But oh, it's going under. It looks like it can control its legs a little bit more. Okay. Here's some of the words that we've used. The stage is the different name for the points of the development, like the life cycle. So we have our life cycle, the sequence of changes an organism goes through, the larva, the worm-like early stage of the life cycle of the insect, to molt, shed outer later layer before getting a new covering of skin, hair, features, or shell, the pupa, the stage of the animal's life cycle between the larva and adult stages. So once it gets to the beetle, it is definitely an adult. Nice job. Tomorrow we'll read about the darkling beetle.